It's me, Bleshy, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to show you how I use my XP pen to draw and to teach in class. So without further ado, let's start this video. So first things first, so dito sa XP pen ko, um, if you haven't seen my unboxing, you could watch the video here. So click the video. So Ang laman ng package na binigay sa atin ng one gadget is this one. So it comes with a pen and a pen holder. So kapag hindi mo ginagamit, pwede mo siya ipatong para hindi lang siya nakakalat or gumulong. And then, I would also use this wire. So this wire is a USB and then Type-C na wire. So yung Type-C, ito yung nakakonect dun sa tablet natin. And then itong USB port, ito yun ha connect sa laptops or computers natin. And then finally, our tablet. So our drawing tablet is like this. So it's really big. So if you wanna draw, oh, there are actually different types of tablets. Iba iba yung size niya. So kung ano yung preference niyo kung ganon yung gusto kalake or kaliit, you can choose in their Shopee account. So I will put the link down below. So tara, let's set up na. So here, as you can see, you can download the app. So you can download it anytime. But din naman siya isearch sa Google. And then you have here the different settings. So for example, you could set it to the full screen. So I'm using my laptop, so I did that. You also have here your pen settings. So you have there your eraser and your right click. So pwede nyo siya baguhin kung ano yung gusto nyo gamit nun sa pen. And also, you have there your pressure sensitivity. So, kung gaano siya kadiin. So, sometimes, some people like it um, may hard pressure. So, na, some naman, they just like it light. And then, you also have here the shortcut keys. So, in this tablet, you have 8 shortcut keys. And then, you can change all the keys to your preference. So, kayo na yung bahala kung ano yung gusto nyong gamitin. So now let's start with the drawing. So as yan, as you can see, I'm using the application Autodesk, Autodesk Sketchbook. So you can see how it works with pressure. So kung makikita nyo, pwede kong palitin yung mga tools ko, pwede rin ko naman siyang palakihin. So it depends on my mood and what kind of drawing I would want to draw. So for this one, I'm just using Taylor Swift and I will show you how to do a vector. So, ito yung mga simple vector art lang. So, the first thing that I do, I usually trace the lines. And then, after that, I just color everything. So, continue watching.
So as you can see, this is the final product. So what I did for this drawing is just very fast and then the colors, they're not so solid. So they're very asymmetrical. So I hope you learned something new today. So that would be all for our video today and I hope may natutunan kayo. So if you haven't liked this video, so don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you again next time. Bye everyone!